o no, o no.
12 here tonight. Getting ready to start my class and just waiting for my students to arrive. Hopefully they will arrive soon. Hello, Jenny. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. everybody. How are you tonight? I'm fine. That's great. Excellent. Excellent. How was your day, Jenny? There you are. <laughs> What? Repeat. How was your day? Everything good? Good. A heavy day? A heavy, a difficult, a heavy or difficult uh, day? A heavy day. Oh, really? Mm. I understand. It's hard sometimes. It is hard sometimes. It is terrible. How was traffic? Are you going to the office or are you working from home? A trip to Santana today. Ouch. How was traffic? Uh, see, yes. Difficult traffic or easy? Uh, difficult. Oh, really? Wow. The, I went to San Salvador today and it was terrible. Terrible. Yes. Eh, lo más, lo dificultoso es la, la, el trayecto, cansado. Yeah. It's very far. It's very far. It's far. Okay. Lejos. Lejos. Yeah. It's pretty far. So you must be like ah, tired right now. Yes. 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 I can understand, but don't worry. We are going to do many different activities tonight, so you won't feel this time. These two hours are going to go fast. Fast. So don't worry. Okay. So tell me, did you already have dinner? Eh, aquí tengo la cena. Oh, good, good. Well, in my case, here's my water. Uh, That's the only thing, no dinner. Hey, look, there's Jennifer. Jennifer is connecting. Hello, Jennifer. Is getting ready. Hello, how are you? How are you, Jennifer? You had problems last night with the connection? Yeah, so sorry. Uh, no problem, no problem, because we lost you for a few minutes. There were a few minutes where we didn't see you. But it's good that you are back. Ayer la perdimos unos minutos. Yeah, and I think she's having problems again with connection because it frizzled. So Jenny, tell me, how's your husband? He better? Uh, better. Oh, great. Uh, very, very, very better. Uh -huh. That's great, excellent. Sí, hoy, hoy es que fuimos con él a, a Santa Ana, al hospital, oh, a right. que le quitaran, le revisaran los puntos. Oh, the sutures. Ouch. Pero, uh -huh. And who drive? You drive? Eh, sí, yes. You, you drive? Eh, yes, I am. Oh, that's good. Right. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's today's class. Es la clase de ahora. Ah, okay. Don't worry, we are going to work with that. Hey, look, there's Ileana. I was worried. Ileana is always the first. Ya estaba preocupado. Ileana siempre es la primera. 
There's Vicente. Anna also, she's connecting right now. Good night. Good night, Anna. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Teacher. I am fine. Good evening, Vicente. How are you? I'm tired. Tired? A yes. heavy day? A difficult day at work? Yes, heavy, heavy. Uh, that's understandable. Ileana, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine? Yes, teacher. That's great, that's great. I was worried for you. You're always very early. Ya me había preocupado. Suele estar bien muy temprano. I was wondering. Jenny was the first one here with me. Hey, look, there's Andres. Hello, Andres. How are you? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How's everything? Fine. Sorry? How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Uh, no, uh, oh, hello. Hi. Everything. <laughs> Hola a todos. <laughs> how's, how's everything? That means, ¿qué tal todo? Okay. How's everything? How's everything? Oh, yes. Everything. How is everything? Hey, look, there's Marcos. Marcos, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. We didn't see you yesterday, Marcos. Venía cansado del trabajo y me dormí temprano. Oh, Marcos took an extra vacation day. <laughs> wow, that's nice, that's nice. Hello, Mayra, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Tell me. I'm fine. Did you go to work? A little, uh, yes. Tired? Yes, very tired. Everybody's tired. Vicente says that he's uh, pretty tired. You know, there's a common expression that you can use. You can say, I'm wasted. But be careful because it's got two meanings. When you say I'm wasted, like I'm wasted, I had a bad day, a hard day at work. That's okay. But imagine that Carla, hello Carla. Imagine that hello. Carla, hi Carla, how are you? Very good. Very good. Imagine that Carla goes with her boyfriend to the beach and she decides to drink. And Carla drinks a lot of beers, many beers, and she drinks 20 beers. And she says, man, I'm wasted. That expression applies to those two things. When you are very drunk, you can also say that. Carlos, hello, Carlos, how are you? Hello, uh, uh, good night. Good night, how are you? Tell me. Everything good? Uh, uh, very good, very good. Great, excellent. Okay, let me see. There's 10 of us. We are still missing some people. Let's see who's coming late. There's somebody who's going to come in late. Cesar, oh, Cesar is going to connect a little bit later, he says, because He's having a little trouble. Yeah, that's weird. Cesar is always on time. So let's see. Carla, how was your day? Tell me. She goes like, what? Repeat. How was your day? Everything good? Very good. You have a easy day or a difficult day? Difficult days. Oh, really? Why? I had work. Difficult day because you had work. Many things to do at work, perhaps. Look at this. I'm going to I'm going to write something in the chat. Many things to do. Perhaps I'm asking. 
many things to do. Let me see. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Many things to do. Carla. Muchas cosas que hacer. Yes. Okay, okay. Erika, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Everything fine? Fine. Good, excellent, excellent. Tell me, Erika, I didn't see you last night. What was the problem? Oh, estaba lloviendo. It was, se va la señal. It was, it was raining. raining. Yes, it, it was, was raining. raining. Yeah, you got problems with sign out. Oh my gosh, Carla, that's a beautiful cup of coffee you got. It's tall. Teacher, I drink atol. Atol? Oh, nah, then uh, must be coffee. Yeah. Tall cup of coffee. Hey, there's Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. Great. Thank you. What about you? Hi. It's Good. very large day today. Oh, really? Because uh, the problem, plan, problem, problem, problem. Uh, the solution, never. <laughs> yeah. So you can say that you have a difficult day. Difficult day. Okay. It was, you can say, it was a difficult day today. Yeah, I can understand that. That happens. So let's see. Today, well, let, well, yesterday we were working with simple present. Do you remember simple present? Yes? Yes. Okay, guys. And in order to review a little bit of simple present, we are going to watch right now a small information because yesterday we were simple present but small today we are going to make it a little bit bigger i'm going to show you a presentation it's a little bit long but we are going to be stopping going back and forth because we also today we are going to work with simple present yes no questions that's easy cheesy don't worry okay that's very simple so to to start today let me share with you a small image let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Right here, I'm going to share with you. And the one that I'm going to share with you is this one. Okay. Okay, the simple present. The simple present can be used to refer to actions which occur at regular intervals. What is that? A routine. When we say that, we are saying a routine, like uh, Andres told me, oh, I shave every day. That's a routine. It's something that, it's an action which occurs at regular intervals, okay? Rita teaches English at Regal International three times a week. Okay, that's something that happens three times a week. And sings in the school choir. Okay, she sings, you see? Daniel always sleeps during his math class. That's something that happens all the time. Okay? Now, we also, we, she usually works on her basket after dinner. She's building up a basket and she usually works on her basket after dinner, okay? Look at these different actions. He usually drinks tea after a meal. A meal, that's food, una comida, un alimento, okay? 
He usually drinks tea after a meal. They go to a dance every Sunday. Oh, they look like Mexicans. They take a walk with their son every day. As you can see, these actions happen on a regular basis. Acciones suceden en un, eh, con cierta regularidad. Now, more sentences. Run every day. Do every day. Not do homework. Okay. He runs to school every day. She does her homework every day. He doesn't do his homework every day. Do you remember from yesterday? Do when we are talking about he or she or it change to does. Okay? Now, look at this. Must be she doesn't like. He gets. She doesn't like school. Oh yes, that happens with some kids. He gets an A plus on every quiz. He always listens to the teacher. Look, the yes, listens to the teacher. I always make a snowman in the winter. I don't. I throw snowballs. Brush. Look, I don't eat. I always brush my teeth. I don't. I always eat a lot of candy. Mm. The simple present is also used in stating general truth, but before we continue, let's make a small review. Remember, we use it to talk about some things that happens on a regular basis. Lo utilizamos para hablar sobre cosas que pasan en una con cierta regularidad. Those are routines, okay? Like uh, Carla drinks a toll every week. That happens regularly. Uh, Andres watches TV after class. And he says, yes, I do. Can you see that happens on a regular basis? Ileana dyes her hair, do you remember? Every month, once a month. That happens on a regular basis. Yes? Mayra goes to work from Monday to Friday. It happens regularly. So that's simple present. Let's continue. The simple present is also used in stating general truth. El presente simple también se utiliza para presentar verdades, realidades, hechos. The earth goes around the sun. Everybody know that the earth goes around the sun, no? There's the sun and the planet goes around the sun. That's a truth. That's una verdad, un hecho. We don't change that. Okay? Now, birds fly. Las aves vuelan. That's a fact, un hecho. Okay, water freezes at 32 degrees. That is a fact. El agua se congela at 32 degrees. It is a fact. Triangles have three sides. Okay, triangles have three sides. 
Those are facts. Those are truth. Esas son verdades. They don't change. Okay? Like uh, uh, Carla has a son. That's a truth. Uh, Jenny takes care of her husband. That's a fact. Uh, Andres lives alone. Andres vive solo. That's a fact. Okay? Vicente has five dogs. Is that right, Vicente? Four. Four. I'm sorry. My bad. Yes. Okay. Vicente has four dogs. That is a truth. Okay? That is a fact. Es un hecho. Es una verdad. That simple present. Okay? Be careful because we in Spanish tend to think that simple present is uh, something that happens in this moment. En español tendemos a pensar que el presente simple es algo que pasa en este momento, but no. Remember, the present refers to something that happens on a regular basis. Se refiere a algo que pasa en un, con cierta regularidad. Or to something that is a truth, a general truth. Algo que es una verdad. Okay? Like, uh, Erika has long hair. That is a fact. Eso es un hecho. Questions up to now? Preguntas? No? Okay. Let's continue. Occasionally, the simple present is used to express actions occurring in the future. Listen, the simple present is used to express actions occurring in the future. How? Our plane leaves at 8 o'clock tomorrow. In algunas ocasiones, but in some specific situations, En algunas ocasiones, el presente simple se utiliza para referirse a un futuro cercano, inmediato. Nuestro avión sale, uh, let me see what did it says here. Our plane leaves at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Nuestro avión sale a las 8 de la noche, mañana, mañana a las 8 de la noche. Ok, that's a near future, an immediate future. Un futuro muy cercano, muy inmediato. That's simple present. ¿Ok? And in that situation, we use simple present in order to express future. Right? Now, let's see. In addition, the simple present is used when referring to printed material and when describing events portrayed in a book, film, or other work of art. NASA starts countdown to Mars mission. But this is what matters to us right now. Formation of the simple present. The simple present is formed from the bare infinitive of the verb as shown in the following example. The bare infinitive of a verb consists of the infinitive without the word to. Okay, what's that? Simple. Look, the infinitive is to be, to walk, to work. The bare infinitive is be, walk, work. Okay, now we are going into grammar and this is very uh, tricky. I will switch just for a moment into Spanish. Vamos un poco gramatical y es un poquito extraño. Para formar el presente simple utilizamos la forma infinitiva, pero la forma infinitiva base. El infinitivo es cuando un verbo no trabaja. It means like uh, jump, saltar, drink, beber. Listen to, escuchar, work, trabajar. 
We say that a verb is infinitive when that verb is not conjugated, when it is not working. Decimos que el verbo no está trabajando cuando no es conjugado. Cuando es conjugado, cuando lleva un sujeto, like uh, Jenny takes care of her husband. Jenny takes. Jenny is the subject. The verb is takes. But when we use the simple present, is the subject plus the verb in the simple form. Okay? That's something very important to remember. That's the bare infinitive. Okay? Eso es un verbo en infinitivo. Ser, estar, comer, nadar, saltar, dormir. Okay? Be, jump, drink, sleep. Uh, let's see. Oh, stretch. That's stretch. And... Uh, Let's see, scratch, you go like this, you are scratching, listening to, watch, those are verbs in the infinitive form, okay? Questions up to now? Preguntas hasta este momento? Please, any questions, tell me, or stop me, you know, this is your class, remember it. Recuerden, es su clase. Cualquier pregunta o detenga. No? Ok, cool. Let's continue. One the question. Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. El verbo en el simple present, el verbo es en pasado, en presente. Eso me confunde. Simple present, the verb. El verbo está en su forma simple presente. Infinitiva presente. Ok? Work. Dance, play, okay? Look, the verb is in present. Work, dance, play, that's present. For past will be worked. Dance, and the pasado sería worked. Dance, played, you see? So right now we are using Work, dance, play. Simple present. Is that okay? Was that your doubt? Era esa la duda? Yes, cool. Okay, let's continue. Any other doubt? ¿Algo otra duda? Okay, let's continue. So, let's see. For example, the simple present of the verb to work is conjugated as follows. I work, you work, he works. She works, it works, we work, they work. The form of the verb used with the subject, he, she, and it is generally referred to as the third person singular. Remember yesterday I was talking about this, he, she, or it, we add S. Spelling rules for the third person singular. Some verbs change their spelling by just adding S to their bare infinitive. Work, show. Works, chose. When a verb ends in Y preceded by a vowel, just add S. Plays, enjoys, buys. When a verb ends in Y preceded by a consonant, cut the Y and add I E S studies, worries, carries. When a verb ends in double S, S H, C H, X, Z, and O, just add E S. Goes, teaches, watches, watches, fixes, buzzes. Questions here? Any question in that part? That says in the only third, third person. person. Yes. Okay. Believe it or not, well, for me, I think it's one the most Perhaps not the most difficult, but the most tricky at the beginning 
quizás no el más difícil, pero sí el un poquito complicado. Al principio es eso. Solo aplica para la tercera persona. Solo aplica para él, ella o eso. En presente simple, en forma afirmativa. Solo entonces aplica esa regla. Todas esas reglas que vimos solo aplican entonces. ¿Ok? Oh, by the way, Andrés, remind me after the class for the extra information you need, ¿ok? Please, because I forgot in vacation, but remind me, I just remember. Okay. okay. So, oh, by the way, tomorrow I have interviews with some of you, don't I? Mañana tengo entrevistas con algunos de ustedes after class. Yeah. Remember, I'm going to be there waiting for you guys. Everybody knows when it's the time. Todos saben cuando les toca, ¿verdad? If not, mm -hmm. I will remind you tomorrow. Porque les enviaron una lista. Don't worry, Carla, you are the last one. You and Julio are in the last, the last week, so don't worry, don't worry. But if you need extra information, I can, si alguien necesita algo extra, tengo 10 minutos eh, para, reprogramar, para poderles programar el día de mañana. So if somebody needs extra, let me know, okay? Just that remember, if somebody needs that extra time, it's at tomorrow at 10.50 p.m. Mañana a las 10.50 p.m. Yeah, so, but if you want, I'm going to be here connected. Tomorrow I, I stay connected one extra hour because I have personal interviews where I can reinforce any topic you want. Ese día les puedo dar atención personalizada por 10 minutos cualquier tema que usted necesite. ¿Ok? So remember, algunos de ustedes ya tienen la programación. Si no la tienen, me recuerdan este, por medio chat y yo les voy a conseguir la información. ¿Ok? okay. Porque recuérdense que es otro usuario también. It's another connection. It's always in Zoom, but it's another connection. It's another session. This is just for classes. Those one on one are different. Hello, Cesar. How are you? Hello, everybody. Good night. Uh, okay. Sorry. Good I'm evening. Late. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, yes. mister. How are you? Fine? Oh, okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. Fine. Thank you. Good, good, good. So, you need to catch up because we are making just a review of Simple Present, okay? And let's continue. Remember, these, are, these rules apply just for the third person, singular, affirmative form. Now, the auxiliaries, do and does. Okay, remember, the auxiliaries, do and does, are used to make the interrogative and negative form, okay? I, you, we, they, the subject plus do not, or the contractual form don't, plus the bare infinity, the bare without the two, like we do not swim or we don't swim. He, she, or it use does. He, she, or it does not or doesn't plus the bare infinity. She does not swim, or she doesn't swim. Very simple, no? Do, interrogative form. Do, the auxiliary at the beginning. Then the subject, I, you, she, or they. Very infinitive. Do they swim? Or, when we are talking about the third person, does he, she, or it, plus the very infinitive. Does he swim? Now, note, the simple present of the verb to have is conjugated as follows. This is a special verb, okay? I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, they have. This is special. So it has their own rule. Look at this. 
Paulo and Daniel like to go to soccer games. Paulo and Daniel like to go. This is simple present affirmative form. Do Paulo and Daniel like to go to soccer games? Question, look, the auxiliary at the beginning. The verb in the simple form. Look now at the negative. Paulo and Daniel do not or don't like to go to soccer games. Now, let's see, Carla, please, can you read the second one? Rita? Que lo lea. Yes, please. Rita goes to the gym three times a week. Does Rita go to the gym three times a week? Yes. That does not, does not go to the gym three Time a week. Times. Times. Okay. And we say Rita does not or Rita doesn't. Okay. Now let's see. Erika, please. Eduardo is doing engineering. Engineering. At Mac. Um, Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Does Eduardo study engineering at Mackenzie? Eduardo does not, doesn't study in engineering at Mackenzie. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, in this case, when Carla read about Rita, you see goes. Rita goes to the gym. Yes, because the verb is ends in O. For the question, we use the auxiliary. Does Rita, and the verb comes back to the base form. Does Rita go to the gym three times a week? Negative, Rita does not. Or if you want the contractor, Rita doesn't go to the gym three times a week. The same happens with Eduardo. You see, Eduardo studies. Remember, if the verb ends in Y, and before the Y there's a consonant, we change the Y for I, and we add ES. Question? Pregunta hasta ese momento? No? Everything fine? Cool. Great, great, great. So, as I told you at the beginning, we are going to make it like, we are, we're going to expand a little bit. Nos íbamos a expandir un poquito, because I want that, this topic to be like full and complete this week. We are going to dedicate this week just for this topic, because it's very important for you to know it and remember it like uh, for good. Okay, que quede ya para siempre, guardadito. Okay, so we are going to continue, guys. Don't forget, this is mandatory. The auxiliary do is used with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. This is mandatory. Esto es obligatorio. The auxiliary does is used with the pronouns he, she, and it. When you use the auxiliary does in the, for the interrogative and negative forms, put the verb in its bare infinitive without to. So remember, the auxiliary do is used with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. The auxiliary does is used with the pronouns he, she, and it. When you use the auxiliary does, interrogative and negative forms, Put the verb in its very infinitive. Remember also that do and does is used for negative and interrogative only. For the affirmative, it is not used. Okie dokie.
Okay, we are back. So, questions. I know this is kind of long. Sé que está un poquito largo and a little bit boring. Quizás un poquito aburrido. Any question? No question. Okay, then I will ask you. Entonces yo les pregunto. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, Andres, tell me, when do we use das? ¿Cuándo utilizamos das? Das is um, he, she, and it. Perfect. Carla, when do we use do? I, you, we, they. Perfect. Jenny, if we are using an auxiliary, how goes the main verb? Si estamos utilizando un auxiliar, do or does, ¿cómo va el verbo principal? Uh, present, simple. Present, infinitive. Remember, infinitive. Infinitive. Okay. Now, for the affirmative form, third person singular, la tercera persona en singular, forma afirmativa, what do we add to the verb? ¿Qué le agregamos al verbo, César? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Or? Or? Y, Just the yes. Solo la S. No, okay, okay, yes. Only okay. yes. Perfect, perfect. Now, let's see. What else? What else? Erika, tell me. If a verb ends in Y precede by a consonant, si un verbo termina en Y, Precedida por consonante. What do we do? ¿Qué hacemos? We just add the S. Y S. Or we change the Y for I. ¿Cómo le hacemos? Cambiamos la... Solo le agregamos S. Le agregamos S. O cambiamos la Y. What do we do? Cambiamos la Y. Yes. Oh, Iliana, what are you doing? Sorry, Iliana, se me le dio compartir pantalla. Necesito que por favor cierre esa función. Iliana, ¿me escucha? Hold on just a second. Is Ileana around? Ustedes ven la pantalla de Ileana, creo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Ok, let me see. Uh, ok, here it is. I think. Ya lo arreglamos. I think it was not intentional. Allá lo tengo. Okay, let's continue. Or was I? Don't believe that. Oh, just remember. Simple present. So, let's see. Uh, right now you are watching just me? Ahora sí me ven a mí? Yes? Yes. Yes. Cool. yes. Fine, fine. So, as you can see, simple present is very simple, as the name says. Now, that was the structure. When do we use simple present? Cuando lo utilizamos? Mayra, do you remember? What ideas do we express with simple present? ¿Qué ideas expresamos con el presente simple? I don't hear you. No la oigo. Don't worry, don't worry, Mayra. Let's see. Who can remember? Daniel, do you remember what ideas do we express with simple present? Good question, teacher. What ex what ideas do we express with simple present? ¿Qué ideas expresamos con el presente simple? Mm. Mm. 
Definitive situation. Okay. Facts. Repetitive situation. Hechos. Routines. Habits. Do you remember? Hechos, rutinas, hábitos, and near future. Y futuro cercano. Okay? How's that? Let's see. Do you remember from yesterday I said, Carla is very smiley. Eso es un hecho. From yesterday I said, Cesar takes care of his daughter. Cesar cuida su hija. That's a fact. Yes. Uh, today I was saying that Andres shaves every day when he goes to work. Cuando va trabajando. No, now he's he's not shaving. That's a routine. Okay. When you say the moment, that's a routine. Uh, Vicente is a good student. A fact, un hecho, or a general truth. Eso es un hecho o una verdad. Uh, Let's see. I I have I have one on one session tomorrow night near future. Tengo futuro cercano. I have one on one session tomorrow. That expression is mañana. Tengo sesiones uno con uno mañana. I am using simple present, but the idea is future. Estoy utilizando el presente simple, pero la idea es futura. Remember, always, tenses, they express an idea. Los tiempos expresan una idea. ¿Ok? ¿Are we clear? ¿Estamos bien hasta este momento? Sí. Yes. Yes. Ok, guys. Now, let's see. We are going to check a little bit from the book, from the manual. You see how to use simple present, affirmative statements. I keep track of the financial account. I keep track, the verb, simple. You know the policies and regulations, simple. Uh, we advertise the company. Very simple. Okay. They help companies against financial loss. Negative statements. I don't keep track of the financial account. You don't know the policies and regulations. We don't advertise the company. They don't help companies against financial loss. Question? Any question there? No? Okay. Now, do you remember that I was explaining the interrogative form? And in the interrogative form, I was saying like that we use the auxiliary at the beginning. Yes? Like, uh, Carla, tell me, do you like black coffee? Yes, I do. Oh, she says, yes, I do. When we have a yes, no question, it's a question that in the simple present starts with the auxiliary. Ahora vamos con unas preguntas que contestamos con yes, no, but we are talking about simple present. Do you remember that last week we were working with yes, no question, but focus on the verb be. La semana anterior hablábamos sobre yes, no question, pero solo del verbo ser o estar. Now, we saw the verb be apart because it's a special verb. 
with their own rules. Es un verbo especial con sus propias reglas. These rules that we are working today, they apply for the rest of the verb. Estas aplican para todos los demás verbos. Okay? So the auxiliaries, the only verbs that they are not used is with the verb be. Esta, este auxiliar no se utiliza solo con el verbo cero estar. Para el resto de verbos, yes. It applies. Okay? Questions? Preguntas? Doubts? ¿Alguna duda? Eh, a mí sí me quedó un poco de, de duda eso que acaba de decir, que no se utiliza con el verbo ser o estar. Yes. Are you eh, Caesar? Are you Caesar? Yes, I am. You see? No do. Ah, okay. Okay? Okay. Caesar. Yes, yes. Do you work as an engineer? Yes, I do. You see? The rest of the verb. Ah, okay. I go like, Caesar, uh, do you have a car? Yes, I do. Okay. Caesar, do you have an helicopter? A, chap a chapter? Do you? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. You see, I am using okay. different verbs. It doesn't apply okay. with the verb B, but with the rest of the verbs, yes, they do apply. No aplican para el verbo. Ah, okay. Para, para, para el resto de verbos, yes. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. okay. Thanks. What do you Teacher, question. Okay. Yes, tell me. Eh, quiere decir que dependiendo de la de tipo de pregunta, así sería el tipo de respuesta. I'm sorry. Del, del tipo de pregunta. Ajá, mean? ah, o sea, si en, la, si en la pregunta va el do o al principio o no lleva el oh, do, yes, así es yes, la, la respuesta. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And remember, we are talking about just yes, no question. Hasta este momento vamos solamente con aquellas que se contestan con yes or no. ¿Ok? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Any other question? Please. This is the time. No questions? Okay, great, great, great. Now, let's see. Let's go again to the exercise. Okay, the exercise says, unscramble the sentences with the words provided using the simple present. Number one, keep the company's track financial account of. The of, it's going to be used two times. Okay. Don't on internet the company advertise with. I every day notes in the meeting state. Number four, at the reception, Carlos and Mauricio phone answer. Okay. Why am I showing you this exercise? ¿Por qué les muestro ese ejercicio? Because this exercise, you are going to solve it, but you are going to answer it, you are going to write the sentences on the photo. ¿Ok? El foro de ahora, ustedes me lo van a complementar con esa oración. ¿Se recuerdan que después de cada videoconferencia yo les pongo un, una pregunta? Did you do yesterday? Hicieron la de ayer. Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Carla, yes. how's the platform? ¿Cómo va la plataforma? Mm. Julio, what about you? Remember, we need to work on the platform. That's also your grade. Okay? So, these sentences are for today, for the forum. Okay? I will give the instructions there. Don't worry. Yo le voy a poner las instrucciones ahí, no problem. So, just give me a second. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Sorry, I just needed to check my lesson plan in order to see the activity that goes right now. Okay, let's see. Ok, 
Can you see this board? Podemos ver esta tabla. Or is it too small? No. No, no. se ve borroso. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Plan B, don't worry. That's not a problem. We always have plan B, which is the important part. Okay? And... Let me see. Here we go. Okay, remember, when we have a question, and that question starts with do, like, uh, do you work on Monday? Oops, sorry. Do you work on Monday? That's a question, okay? Now, this question, in this particular case, we answer, we have, we can have an answer like yes or a no. You remember? We answer yes. Yes. I do. Okay. Or we answer no. I don't. No. Okay. Simple. That's when it is a yes, no question. Okay? Do you work on Monday? Now, look at this one. Does he study hard? Estudia duro, estudia mucho. In this case, the answer will be yes. He does. Exactly. Yes, he does. Or if it's negative? No, he doesn't. No. He, he doesn't. 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 No, he doesn't. It's very, very simple. Okay? Remember, guys, this is something that you need to remember. When we talk about he, she, it. Remember, when we talk about these three, we always, and I mean it always, use das. The auxiliary for, in this case, is das, okay? But when we use, when we use the rest of the subjects or the rest of the pronoun, when we are talking about I, or we are talking about you, or we are talking about we, or they, in this case, it changes. It's because in this case, we always use which one? Do. Exactly. Do. That's what we use. Do. Okay? In this case, it changes because instead of using does, what we do is use do. Any question up to here? Alguna pregunta? No. No? Okay. Remember, when we answer, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Or we use, yes, he does. No, she doesn't. Yes, he does. Questions up to now? No questions? Okie dokie. Perfect. Now let me get the attendance right now. Let's see. Carlos Alberto. Present. Present. Thank you. Mayra Ileana. She disconnect. Ella se me desconectó, ¿verdad? 
Ana María Palacios. Present. Maybelline Michelle. No here. Erika del Carmen. Erika was connected. Erika andaba por aquí. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Thank you. José Reinaldo Sandoval. Claudia Patricia Granados. No. Ok. Andrés Alberto Orellana. Thank you. César Humberto López. Present. Perfect. Jenny Lisette Escobar de Orellana. Present. Perfect. José Versolis. No here. Uh, Vicente Alexander Reyes. Present. Daniel Arturo Montes. Present. Mayra Lisette Valladares. Okay, Mayra. She is trying to say present. Okay, Marcos Iván. Present. Okie dokie, Marcos. Thank you very much. Eh, Crisia Madeline Herrera. No, she didn't appear. Maybelline Janira Aguilar de Rodes. No. Hey there. Carla Yvonne. Present. Diego. Julio Alonso. Present. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's see. Okay, guys. Now, what are you going to do? Very simple. We are going to go to the breakout rooms and you are going to start making yes, no questions to each other. But you are going to tell me which questions. Okay. The questions are going to be very simple, but you will have to take note of the of your classmates answers because then you are going to report okay nos vamos a dividir vamos a hacer unas preguntas a los compañeros pay attention to what they answer because we are going to report back okay perfect let's see the first question is uh, The first question is going to be, do you have a job? Second question is going to be, do you work? Do you work every day? Are you taking note of the questions? First question, do you have a job? Second question, do you work every day? Third question, Do you have, and it will depend on the, if it's a male or a female, you're going to ask, do you have a husband or wife? Depending on who's the other person. Dependiendo con quien trabaja, te va a decir, do you have a husband or do you have a wife? Okay. Four question. Do you like English class? Remember, these questions are going to be yes, no. And I'm going to ask you about your classmates. Mm. La respuesta van a ser yes, no. Y yo le voy a preguntar a ustedes acerca de su compañero, okay? I'm not going to ask you about yourself. I'm going to ask you about the responses from your classmates. Got it? Okay, let's see. Do you like English class? And um, 
do you know how to drive? This question is, do you know how to drive? How to drive a car? Okay, five questions. That's enough. We are going to go right now to the breakout room. Okay? You got the questions? Yes? ¿Tenemos ya las preguntas? Yes. Perfect. So right now I'm going to divide you into the breakout room so we can share the information. Okay? Perfect. Sure. Perfect. Perfect. Teacher. Yes? Y las respuestas van a ser solo yes, I do. Exactly. Or no, I don't. Or no, I don't. Okay. Exactly. Just that. But when we come back from the breakout rooms, cuando regresemos del breakout room, I am going to ask you, yo le voy a preguntar, about your class, acerca de su compañero. Imagine that you work with uh, Andrés. Imagínese que usted trabajó, Marcos, con Andrés. Yo le voy a preguntar, does he work every day? Y usted me va a decir, yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Okay? Okay. Or imagine eh, que usted trabajó con Ana. Y yo le voy a preguntar a usted, does she have a husband? Tiene ella esposo y usted me va a decir, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Ready, guys? Listos? Yes. yes. Okay, let's see. Yes. Yes. Right now, you are invited. Ya tienen la invitación. Please join. Daniel, ¿ya se unió? And Jennifer, no se ha Teacher. podido unir. No, me no lo mando otra vez. No le ha parecido la... Sí, me parecía, pero tuve un problema, cuéntalo. Ok, vamos a ver. La voy a mover de grupo, ¿ok? Ok. Y voy a mover a Julio. Okay, Daniel. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. You, you, you first, first. Okay. Do you work every day? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have a wife? Wife? No, husband. husband. Because she is a woman and yes. has a husband. Has, has a husband, esposo. Has, tiene esposo. Ella es mujer, tiene esposo. Uh, not. Remember, no. look, look, look. Let's do it like this, ¿ok? Presten atención. Eh, lo voy a hacer con Jennifer. ¿Ok, Jennifer, you ready? Yes. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. Do you work every day? Yes, I do. Do you have a husband? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, do you like English class? 
No, I don't. It's a no, I don't. example. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, no, perfect, I don't. perfect. It's example. Okay, do you know how to drive? Yes, I do. Okay. Look, Carlos, lo que ella le decía es que cuando usted le pregunta, por ejemplo, a Ana o a Jennifer, no le puede decir, do you have a husband? Because husband is... No, wife. Entonces le... Perdón, no le puede decir, do you have a wife? Porque wife es esposa. Yo le puedo preguntar a usted, Carlos, do you have a wife? ¿Tiene una esposa? And you, can, and you tell me yes. Well, nowadays, you know, hoy en día, pues... Things are more complex. Hoy en día las cosas son más complicaditas. But let's mm -hmm. keep it like that, okay? So you can ask, do you have a husband or wife? Okay? Continue, guys. Continue. <laughs> okay, nada más la, la última pregunta. La última pregunta que quiero decir. Do, do you know how to drive? ¿Sabe conducir? ¿O sabe manejar? Oh. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Okay. Do you have a, a job? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. Este, do you do you work every day? No, I, I don't. don't. Oh, that's a lucky person. ¿Quién es el afortunado? Eh, Vicente. Hello. Oh, Vicente, he doesn't work every day. Nice, lucky you. Qué afortunado. Ok, continue, guys, continue, continue. I work from Monday to Friday. Ok, cool, that's nice. In, in company, in company, Saturday and Sunday, uh, my... Oh, my personal trabajo. business. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Oh, that means money. Right. Continue, guys. Continue. Okay. Do you have? Yeah, where is it located? In Santa Tecla. Where is uh, it located? <laughs> what is located? No, where, where, donde? Where, 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 where uh, donde? Okay. Where, where is, is located? Located. Yes. Uh, okay. Where is it located? You finish, guys? Yes. Yes. Y la respuesta sería it's located in Santa Tecla. You can just say it is in Santa Tecla. It is in Santa Tecla. Por okay. si, la, la duda era por ser local, o sea, por ser un, como cosa. Yes, but you era? can say it is in Santa Tecla. It is in Santa Tecla. Okay, okay guys. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Finish? Ready? Yes, finish. Okay. Are you ready, Carla? Yes. Yes. Um, yes, I am. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So we are going to get out of here. You were fast. Turn rapid. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. I got everybody here. Okay, let's see, everybody's back. Now, Carla, tell me about, uh, who were you working with? Mayra, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Mayra? Yes. Okay, yes, tell Mayra. me, does Mayra have a job? Yes, she, she does. 
Okay, does she work every day? Yes, she does. Okay, does she have a husband? No, she doesn't. Mm, does she have a wife? A boyfriend. Oh, a boyfriend, interesting. Okay, tell me, does she like English class? Yes, she does. Okay, she better. Más le vale. Otherwise, okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Does she know how to drive? Yes, she does. Okay, perfect. Mayra, tell me about Carla. Does she work every day? Yes, she does. Okay, does Carla know how to drive? Yes, she does. Okay, and does she have a husband? No, she doesn't. Okay, does she have a boyfriend? Yes, she does. Yeah, and she goes to the beach. I remember. Yes. Okay, <laughs> let's see, let's see. Cesar, who do you work with? Hello, I work with Daniel. You work? Work. Work. Okay, look. As it is in past, the word is this word. Now, esto no nos toca ahorita, pero lo usamos. ED, después de K, suena como una T. Worked. 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 Okay. Pronunciamos la K y después de la K, una T bien corta. Worked. Okay. Okay. Worked. I worked. I worked with Daniel. Perfect. Tell me about Daniel. Does he like English class? Yes, he does. Okay, perfect. Tell me, does he have a wife? Uh, yes, he does. Okay. Does he know how to drive? Uh, yes, he does. Okay, thank you very much. Daniel, tell me about okay. Cesar. Tell me, does Cesar has a job? Yes, he, yes. Yes, yes. He, do, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. Does he like English class? Yes, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Recuérdese. Yes, solamente pone does. No, es cuando ponemos doesn't. Okay? Yes? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Julio, tell me, who do you work with? Oh my gosh. Se me fue. Okay, let's see. Marcos, who did you work with? Worked. Uh, Vicente. Okay, cool. I was worried. Pensé que se le había olvidado. Okay, tell me, Marcos. Uh, does Vicente work every day? Eh, no, no, he does. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Porque estamos hablando de él. Ok. Ok. Tell me, does he, does he have a wife? Repeat, please. Does he have a wife? Eh... Yes. Vicente? Do you have a wife, Vicente? Yes, I, yes, I, I do. do. <laughs> Only. Ah, you see? In this I case, don't. no, he doesn't, Marcos. He's not married. Okay. He says, I am <laughs> free. Él dice que él está libre. Okay? Okay. Sí, he doesn't yo have, entendí mal. He doesn't yo have entendí. a chain. Being free, lo que se dice free, no? Uh, it says like free, free, not that much, but doesn't have a chain. Todavía no tiene cadena. Okay, so relax. Okay, Jenny. Hello. Tell me, Jenny, who do you work with? I work uh, with Andres. Andres. Okay, tell me about Andres. Does he have a job? Yes, he does. Okay, does he work every day? 
it is he does. Okay. Does he know how to drive? No, he doesn't. Okay, thank you very much. Andres, tell me about Jenny. Uh, yes. Tell me, does Jenny like English class? Yes, she does. I like it. Okay, yes, she does. And does she know how to drive? Yes, she does. Okay, so she's a driver. Perfect. Thank you, Andres. Let's see who's missing. Who's missing? Vicente. Tell me about Marcos. Okay. Tell me, does Marcos have a wife? Yes, he does. Okay. And does he have a job? Yes, he does. Perfect. And does he know how to drive? Yes, he does. Okay, perfect. Now, Vicente, I will stay with you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm missing Anna. Hello, Anna. Hello. Okay. Tell me, Anna, you work with Julio. Yes? Yes. Okay, tell me. Does Julio have a job? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> Remember, we are talking about Julio. Somebody. Yes, he does. <laughs> Perfect. Does he yes. work every day? Uh, not no he doesn't he doesn't perfect and tell me does he like english class him does he like english class i uh, yes i do yes he does Yes, he does. Okay, perfect. Yes, he does. Excellent. Julio. Hello, teacher. Hello, Julio. Tell me, you were with Anna. Does Anna have a husband? Uh, sorry, teacher. Oh, Marcos. Oh, you work with Marcos? Yes. Okay, tell me, does Marcos have a wife? Yes, uh, no, 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 he doesn't. Marcos, you have a little baby. Yes, he does. Yes, he ah, does. Yeah, I remember Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Marcos. I was worried. Okay, excellent, excellent. Tell me, does Marcos like English class? No, he doesn't. Marcos, come on. This is English. Come on. Okay, now I'm going to be making another type of questions. Let's see. Andres, please open your microphone. Hi. Tell me, Andres, do you live alone? No. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Um, tell me, Andres, do you work from Monday to Friday? <laughs> Do you work yes. from Monday to Friday? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, tell me. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? No, I am single. Cool. That's great. Now, let's see. Thank you, Carla. Hello, Carla. Tell me, does, uh, hold on, hold on. tell me, Carla, yes, yes, does Andres live alone? No, he doesn't. Okay, does he have a wife? Yes, he does. Carla, Andres, do you have a wife? No. I'm single. <laughs> okay, he's single. Come on, Carla, come on, come on. 
Okay, perfect, perfect. Carla, tell me, uh, do you drive a car? Yes, I do. Okay, and tell me, do you like traffic in San Salvador? No, I don't. Perfect, thank you. Cesar. Yes. Tell me, does Andres live alone? Uh, no, he does. He doesn't. Okay. Does he have a wife? No, he doesn't. Okay. Tell me. He's single. He's single. Perfect. Tell me, does Carla uh, have a boyfriend? Uh, yes, she has. Okay. And tell me, does Carla drive? Uh, yes, she has. Yes, she does. She does. Sorry, she, she okay, does. Okay, perfect. Tell me, does Carla have a husband? Uh, no, she doesn't. Excellent. Jenny, uh, sorry, sorry, Cesar. Cesar, yes. Cesar, Cesar. I'm staying with you. Tell me, uh, do you live in a big house? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Do you have two cars? No, no, I don't. Perfect. Thank you, Cesar. I don't. Jennifer. Yes. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Tell me, does Andres live alone? Uh, yes. Yes. He yes. does. Yes, he does. Perfect. And tell me, does Carla have a boyfriend? No, she doesn't. I don't know. Ask her, please. Could Would you mind asking Carla? 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 Hello. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. Uh, Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Carla? Shame on you. Está temblando. Oh, yeah. Y queer. Qué, qué fuerte. Yeah, a little earthquake. Don't worry. Let's relax. It passed already. Yeah. yeah it finished. No, I floating. It was just a little shake. Okay, okay, okay. It was an air quake. An earthquake. 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 A shake on the earth. Hey. Temblor. Temblor. Yeah, did earthquake. you feel it? Lo sintieron? Yes. yes. I did a little bit. Yes. Uh, yeah, it, it's just so I, you don't do Who didn't? ¿Quién no lo sintió? Yo no. Oh. Yo no. <laughs> nice, that's cool. Yeah, but it was a tiny one. Just for you not to get asleep. Es para que no se duerma. Okay, guys. Now. Do you see that I'm throwing different type of questions, okay? Now, I'm going to redo the groups and now I'm going to give you four minutes for you to have a conversation. You are going to ask each other questions free, okay? But the questions got to be in simple present, okay? Les voy a dar. Tres minutos para que ustedes se pregunten y contesten. Las preguntas son libres, simplemente que tienen que ser en presente simple. Yes, no question. At the end, what you are going to give me is, you are going to tell me about that person. Me van a decir acerca de esa persona. How? Like this. Imagine that I have a conversation with Cesar and I start asking Cesar questions. When we come back, cuando regresemos, yo le digo, okay, Cesar, 
Cesar, uh, Cesar lives with his family. He works as an engineer and he drives a car. He has a daughter. You see, I am giving you information about Cesar using simple present. How did I get that information? Come up to this information by asking Cesar. Cesar, do you have uh, do you have kids? Tiene hijos? Do you do you drive a car? Are uh, Cesar? Do you have a job? What do you do? Que ask. Okay. Those questions that we have been getting all these weeks during those these two weeks. Esta pregunta que hemos ido haciendo durante estas dos semanas. Now we are going to use it on a regular conversation, okay? Asking and answering, both, okay? But I want it as a conversation. I am going to be checking that you are having a conversation. Voy a ir revisando que ustedes tengan una conversación, okay? Not just uh, do you, do you, do you. A conversation, a regular conversation, okay? And I'm going to be checking that you do it. And I'm going to choose perhaps two pairs of you, voy a escoger dos parejas, to perform the conversation here for everybody, ¿ok? Voy a escoger dos parejas para que hagan la conversación acá para todos. We can make questions also related to our workplace. Podemos hacer preguntas relacionadas con nuestros lugares de trabajo, ¿ok? Because we also need to reinforce that vocabulary. Questions, preguntas, any doubts? ¿Alguna duda? No? Okie dokie. I'm going to redo the groups, ¿ok? There you go. Do you have a job? No sé si empiezas tú si gustas o okay. yo. Pero yo, yo. Okay. I am your friend. Am I? I she, perdón. Am I? Uh, Significa eso. Soy. I'm ah. your friend. Soy yo. Ok. Eh, do you like to dance? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love dancing. Uh, I love, uh, I love dancing. Soy malo. <laughs> oh, don't worry, too. Yo también. I still like it. Este Vicente García. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work, Marcos? Uh, How are you? Oh, I'm fine, fine. Today uh, I, have, I have a hard day. Oh, me too. Uh, uh, where do you work? Where do you work, Mayra? I I am an accountant. Where? Where? Monday. Where do you oh, work? Oh, where? Sorry. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I'm from in Grupo Satélite. Ahora sí, ya escucho. Hello. Hello. Carla. Tell me, Carla, do you like to dance? 
Yes, I do. Okay. And what do you like to dance? I like dance tropical music. Oh, really? Do you like uh, salsa? Yes, I do. Okay, excellent. Great. Me too. I love dancing. What about you, Anna? Do you like dancing? Yes, I do. Okay. What do you like to dance? Yes. What? ¿Qué le gusta? Ah, perdón. Eh, merengue. Merengue. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yes. That's great. And tell me, Carla, when it is not a uh, uh, quarantine, cuando no estamos en cuarentena, do you dance regularly? Yes. 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 Okay, both of you. Oh, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Great. In the weekend. In the weekend. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, I'm too old now. Yo ya estoy muy viejo, but I like it. I still like it. Okay, questions like that. No. <laughs> everyday questions, okay? Preguntas como esas. Simple, everyday. Like, uh, hey, Carla, tell me. Do you like to do, you like to do house chores? ¿Te gusta hacer el oficio de casa? Do you like? Do you like to do house chores? exercise? No, house chores. I don't know. Officio. House. Officio. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Oh, come on. Do you like irony? Cooking. Cooking. I oh, like really? Cooking. That's nice. What about you, Anna? Do you like to cook? Um, yes. Oh, great. Yes, excellent. yes, I do. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, we are going out from here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Tell me, Carla, what's your favorite dish? What do you cook? ¿Qué cocina? What's your favorite dish to prepare? I like pupusas. Oh, you like pupusas? Uh, shame on you. I don't like pupusas. I dislike pupusas. No me gustan. I mean, I like uh, food, typical food. Oh, okay. I don't like typical food. Not Salvadoran typical food. Uh, anyway. What is the problem, teacher? I don't like pupusas. It's just that. Uh, <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> what about you, Andres? Do you like pupusas? Yes. I am curtido with pupusas. <laughs> okay, cool. That's nice. That's nice. Now, let's see. Uh, Cesar, who do you work with? ¿Con qué trabajo? I work with uh, Mayra. Okay, tell me about Mayra. Okay. Uh, Mayra is a accountant. She works and an accountant and and accountant okay mayra mayra is an accountant uh, she works in grupo satellite company she works for ah okay she works for grupo satellite company perfect she have a boyfriend she has she has she has a boyfriend and his name is Alberto. Oh, interesting. Perfect. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Jennifer, Thanks. who do you work Hello. with? Julio. 
Julio. Tell me about Julio. Julio is eh, casado, ¿cómo se dice? Married. Julio is married with Claudia. Okay. Julio is very young. Se mira muy joven. So sorry. He don't have children and pets. He doesn't he, have children nor does, pets. Or pets. No. Okay, cool. Okay, listen, listen. This is very interesting. And I'm going to write for you. Okay. He doesn't, he doesn't have children nor pets. Look at that sentence. He doesn't have, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake there. He doesn't have He's, children nor pets, nor me. Nor, nor. Porque es not. Means ni. Significa ah, okay. ni. Él no tiene niños ni mascotas. No. Because we are already making a negation. ¿Ok? Ya estamos haciendo una negación. Porque, por ejemplo, yo les digo, eh, no me gusta las pupusas ni la sopa de res. ¿Ok? You see? I don't like this, nor... The other. You are not so battery. What? You are not so battery. <laughs> Just because I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. No, my <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. Okay, let's see. Jenny, who do you work with? I work with Vicente. Vicente, okay. Tell me about Vicente, please. Uh, Vicente, he, bueno, he has no children, but he does have pets. Okay. Uh, he works in at Rodkey. Okay. He, uh, él, yes. él lo que hace, what do he does? He does working work in design garden okay he uh, designs gardens he designs gardens he designs garden uh, visit evaluation clients 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 uh, he does uh, Light dancing. He does some light dancing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, uh, he does uh, like rum. Rum? Rum. Okay. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are talking about rum. this? Rum? No, rum. No, rum. De correr? Oh, yes. rum. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, rum. okay, okay. Listen. When you talk about this, it's wrong. 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 Okay. Wrong? Because if you say wrong, that's uh, uh, liquor. Okay. Uh, wrong. 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 This is Andrew. Wrong. Okay. The other okay. one is This is, wrong. This is Andrew. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very different. It's very different. Well, he can like them both. <laughs> to run yes. to drink from. <laughs> it's a dream, bro. Yeah. Uh, only. Okay, perfect. Andres, who do you work with? It, it, I mean, with work me with uh, Carlos. Okay, tell me about Carlos. Uh, he is uh, is uh, the wife he has a wife he has a wife okay he has a uh, children okay he has children perfect how many one two three um uh, one okay one kid mm -hmm. and he working in sales assistance okay as a sales Sales assistant. Sales assistant. 
Cell uh, impression toner. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. We are going to do... Okay, let's see. Let's see who's missing. Oh, there's Erica back. She came back. That's cool. She was having problems with connection. So, let's see. Um, Cesar, you look sleepy. Hello, Cesar. Hello. Hello. Okay, please. I want you to ask for personal information. You know what? I want to know about that person. Yo quiero saber de esa persona, but I don't want to ask her. Pero no quiero preguntarle. So, I want you to please ask, uh, let's see. Well, you know Andres. We know about Vicente. Uh, Jennifer, please. Ask Jennifer personal information. Okay. Jennifer, hello. Hello. Uh, where do you live, Jennifer? I live in Aguilares, San Salvador. Ah, okay. And are you married? Yes, I'm married. My husband's name is Kevin. Kevin? Yes. Wow. Oh, very where, specific. Where? Yes, yes. <laughs> continue, continue. Uh, and do you have a kids? I have um, a daughter. She name is Genesis. Her name. And, uh, Genesis. Her, her name. name. Her name is Genesis, and I have a dog. Uh, his name is Rocky. His name. Rocky. Hey. His name is Rocky. Rocky is your dog? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. And how... Uh, how old? How are... How, how old? Is... How old is... Oh, para preguntar cuántos años tienes. Yes, how old is who? Your daughter... Ah. How old ah, okay. is your daughter? How old is your daughter? My daughter has five years old. My daughter is? My daughter is five years old. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Thank you, okay. Sister. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes. Hi. Carla. Hello, Carla. Carla, please, Hello. would you mind uh, ask him some questions to Erika, please. Okay. Hello, Erika. Hello, Carla. Where do you live, Erika? Uh, I live in El Carmen. Um, are you married? Yes, I am. Um, do you enjoy swimming? Uh, Not bad. Uh, what? Disfruta nadar? Do you enjoy? Uh, no. No? Um, I don't. I don't know. Okay. Do you like pupusas? Yes, I am. Um, bad question, bad question. You lost a point, Carla. Ya perdió un punto. Okay, okay. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Erika. Okay. Vicente. Hello. Hello, Vicente. Please, would you mind asking some questions to Jenny, please? Hello, Jenny. Hello, Vicente. Hello. Okay. Um, do you like mariscos? Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to interrupt. Do you like okay. seafood? Seafood. 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 Okay. Seafood. Jenny, do you like seafood? Yes. I, I like. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. 
Do you have kids? Uh, oh, no, sorry. I, or I don't. Uh -huh. Yes, I do. Okay. He has 20 he years old. He is. He, he is. Yes. He is 20 years old. Okay. Do you have a job? Uh, yes, I do. What do you do at work? Uh, I make checks. I prepare letters. Uh, I make pricing. Okay. Uh, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, we are having a small conversation and they are very simple. Okay? Como pueden ver, vamos teniendo pequeñas conversaciones muy simples. I'm sorry if I don't include in this exercise to everybody, but it's because of a matter of time. Perdonen si no los incluyo a todos en este ejercicio, pero es por el tiempo. But we are going to be making different activities along the week. Vamos a ir haciendo diferentes actividades durante la semana. And I'm going to be including most of you. Y voy a ir incluyendo más de ustedes. The idea is that at the end of the week, everybody has participated in the same way. This is a new way to work. Esta es una, eh, una dinámica nueva. Because we have never worked like this. Like you having interaction to each other in the general group. Okay? No habíamos trabajado de esta manera, que ustedes interactuaran en el grupo general. But from now on, we are going to also work like this. De ahora en adelante también vamos a trabajar de esta manera. Do you like it? ¿Les parece? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. good, good. So, perhaps if you didn't participate today, be ready for tomorrow. Los que no me participaron hoy, recuérdense que mañana sí. There's Daniel, there's Julio, there's Ana, there's Carlos. Don't worry, Marcos. Tomorrow we are going to participate like this. Okay? So, don't worry. Everybody's going to have the opportunity. I know that some of you are participating more. Yo sé que algunos quizás están participando un poquito más. But you are going to rest. Ya van a descansar. I'm going to give the opportunity to some other. Okay? No, don't be that happy, Carla. You are going to still be working. Aún así vamos a trabajar. Okay, now. Let's make a small review about today's class. Because today's class has been long. Ya nos queda poco tiempo. So we are going to make a small review about today's class. Esta clase ha sido un poquito largo, ¿no? Let's remember. What did we work with? ¿Con qué trabajamos? Simple present. Okay? Now, please remember. Again, I repeat. Simple present. What is the simple present? Oh, simple present is the tense we use in order to express routines, habits, facts. Those three ideas. Principalmente, el presente simple se utiliza para expresar routines, habits, facts. Routines, hábitos, hechos. O verdad. Today is a Tuesday. That's simple present. Hoy es martes. That's a fact. Eso es un hecho. Right? ¿Verdad? It doesn't change. Eh, Jennifer is married. Jennifer está casada. Or present. Cesar is an engineer. Or present. Eh, Andrés rides with Cesar. Andrés viaja con César. That's a fact, no? Marcos has a daughter. Marcos tiene una hija. Is that right? Yes? Okay. Marcos has a daughter. A fact. Carla has three boyfriends. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Because like, no. Okay. Carla has... Oh, two boyfriends. Perfect, Carla. Okay, you see? That's a fact. That's an 
Okay. Myra lives with her relatives. Myra vive con sus familiares. Right? See? Those are facts. Routines. We have talked about routines. Hemos hablado de la routine. Like, uh, since yesterday we were talking about that. I remember that some of you told me that, okay, let me see, who wakes up at 6 a.m.? ¿Quién me dijo ayer que se levantaba a las 6 de la mañana? Cesar. Cesar, Cesar wakes up at 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, who has breakfast at 7? ¿Quién te desayunaba a las 7? Carla. Oh, Carla, thank you. Carla has breakfast at 7. Uh, let's see. Another routine? I got a routine. Ileana, she wake up at uh, 6 o'clock. Okay. Ilia, listen, Jenny. Your sentence is okay. Su oración está bien, but if you say the name, you don't say she. Si dice el nombre, mm -hmm. o dice el she. Sí. She, One she, or the other. Is, okay. okay. Ileana yes. wakes. Wakes. Acuérdense que hablamos ah. de tercera persona del singular, presente simple, forma afirmativa. Agregamos la S. Ok. She wakes up. Wakes up. Perfect. That's the way. She wakes up. Up. At what time? At six. At, uh, at five or six. No. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We say that Erika lives in El Carmen. Okay? A fact. So we have five routines, habits. Habits. I drink a lot of coffee. Yo tomo mucho café. That's a habit. Okay? A truth. Una verdad. I don't like pupusas. At all. That's a fact. Okay? And let's see. Anna loves dancing. Do you know, guys? Anna loves dancing. Anna loves. Canta. <laughs> like that. She says, Anna loves dancing merengue. Love. See? That's a fact. So, as you can see, simple present is used like that. Now, remember, when we want to say to use the simple present in negative or interrogative form, we use the auxiliary, do or does. So remember that we use for he, she, or it, does. For the rest, we use do, okay? The structure in a sentence, if it's negative sentence, we get the subject, then the auxiliary, then not, then the verb, like affirmative. Anna loves dancing. Negative. Anna does not love dancing. Interrogative. Does Anna love dancing? Okay. You see, I got the affirmative, the negative, and the interrogative. Remember, the auxiliary is used just for negative and interrogative. That's mandatory. Up to now, any question? Hasta este momento, ¿alguna pregunta? Please, I like it when you ask questions. Me gusta cuando preguntas. No doubt? No hay dudas? Now, remember, yes, no questions. Las preguntas, yes, no. Okay, they are answered with yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes, you do, no, you don't. Yes, he does, no, he doesn't. Yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Yes, he does, no, it does it. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. 
or yes, they do, no, they don't. It is very simple. Okay, guys. Do you think we still need to reinforce this? Necesitamos aún reforzarlo? No. Oh. Okay, we will see tomorrow. Tomorrow we have something very interesting. Tomorrow you are going to talk about your schedule. Mañana vamos a hablar sobre sus horarios, your daily routines. Okay. Mañana vamos a hablar sobre su rutina. Your schedules, sus horarios. Okay? What you do along the day. So be prepared about that. Try to remember your daily activities. Traten de recordarse sus actividades diarias. And please, if you can, si pueden, and if you have the time, at least look about four or five verbs related to your daily activities in your job. Búsquense por ahí, por favor, cuatro o cinco verbos relacionados con sus actividades diarias de su trabajo. Okay? Now, let's see. I need to take the final attendance, guys. Let's see. Carlos Alberto. Present. Here. Mayra Chilev. Uh, Ana Maria Palacios. Present. Maybelline Michelle. No. Oh. Erika de Carmen. Present. Perfect. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Yes. Jose Reinaldo, no. Claudia Patricia, no. Andres Alberto. Present. Perfect. Cesar Humberto. Present. Perfect. Jenny Lisette. Present. Great. Jose Ever, absent. Vicente Alexander. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arturo. Present. Thank you. Mayra Lisset. Yeah, Mayra goes like, yes, Mayra, I see you. Thank you. And Marcos Ivan. Present. Thank you, Marcos. Patricia Madeline. Uh, she didn't appear. Maybelline Janira. No, she couldn't. Carla Yvonne. Present. Thank you. Julio Alonso. Present. Perfect. So, guys, believe it or not, time's up. Créanlo no, se nos acabó el tiempo. So, remember, for tomorrow, daily activities. And tomorrow, remember, we are going to have conversations in the general room. So be ready. Please, if you can, look for the five verbs. And do you remember what we're going to do in the forum? ¿Se acuerdan qué es lo que vamos a hacer en el forum? What you going to do? Mm. You don't remember? Word, uh, word manual. Okay, page 20, the four sentences, okay? Las cuatro oraciones que aparecen en la página 20, en el manual. Exercise number five. Five. Ejercicio cinco. In a few minutes, I will post it. En unos diez minutos, a más tardar, lo voy a poner, okay? Guys, thank you very much. I appreciate your attention and your presence here. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow tonight. See you. Bye. Take care. <laughs>